All content and opinions in this review are based on patch 108.42 of Ark Survival Evolved, and content featured in this video is subject to change as the game develops. Alright, so to get into the review of this game, Ark Survival Evolved is a survival game that takes place on a mysterious island that is inhabited by different species of prehistoric dinosaurs. The game's primary mechanics are focused around your standard survival game criteria of crafting, hunting, and gathering in order to survive. Along with this, you can also manipulate the world around you, to an extent, in order to create your own base to survive in. In addition to this, the game also allows you to tame various dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures around the island to act as pets and mounts, and they can even be used as tools when gathering resources. ARK also has the workings of a PvE progression system in it, which has you exploring various caves located around the island in order to collect artifacts, as well as collecting resources from different dinosaurs around the island. These artifacts and resources can then be used to summon an end-game boss of sorts. The game can be played on a variety of different servers, both officially and individually hosted, or as a single-player game. Now, with that in mind, some servers for ARK also allow for PvP gameplay throughout the map, in addition to PvE gameplay, which then enables players to kill each other and in many cases damage and destroy buildings and structures created by other players. To get an idea for the feel of the game, I often felt like I was playing a game that would be similar to Minecraft meets Far Cry 4 and Jurassic Park. Now, with all that in mind, the game has many enjoyable features that I got a chance to explore, and they made it an overall enjoyable game to play. But with that said, there are several issues that I ran into that made the game less than enjoyable, and sometimes even drove me to want to stop playing. Now, to start off with the good things that the game presents itself with, the game has straightforward mechanics that can make it easy for a person to get into if they put a little effort into figuring out where things are in the UI. In addition to this, because the game allows you to play on either a single player or a multiplayer server, you are able to get a feel for the game first on single player before jumping straight into an online server with other people. As far as content in the game is concerned, being a person who enjoys boss fights, I was quite pleased with the fact that the game has a PvE end game progression system, and while it is basic, being that the game is still in early access, it still offers a PvE related end game goal to work towards, and I am quite excited to see how they can expand this system with more boss fights and goals to accomplish in the future. ARK also has a healthy amount of dinosaurs to take on, with more being added into the game over time, and many of these dinosaurs can be tamed and used for a variety of different purposes. For the survival mechanics and base functions of the game, ARK offers a wide variety of places to explore and go to in order to gather resources to build your own structures, and some of these landscapes can be quite scenic. For the actual building and crafting mechanics of the game, there are a wide variety of things that can be crafted out of the different resources you can gather, such as items to use, or structures to build your home with, and there are more on the way as the game develops. In order to craft many of the different structures and items the game has to offer, however, you need to level up your character in order to gain engram points, which can be spent on learning how to craft various things. As a result of this, leveling up can be quite exciting and can come with a great sense of accomplishment after you unlock the ability to craft items essential for your gameplay. For the multiplayer aspects of the game, the game allows you to create tribes, which act similar to clans or guilds you might find in other games, and it acts as a way for you to team up with other players and it gives you the ability to play and work together. With that being said, it is not a requirement in this game to play with others. You can still get by in the game while playing solo, but the gameplay would be rather basic compared to playing in a tribe of people. With that said, however, you can find items called blueprints that enable you to craft things without having to spend the engram points to learn how to make them, which makes the game a bit easier from time to time when playing solo. Now, if you do play the game with more than two people, the game can feel a bit easy as many of the goals in the game are easily accomplished with multiple people. Now, if you decide to play the game on a PvP server, interacting with other players can be a bit different since players can then kill each other and destroy each other's structures. While this is an optional portion of the game, depending on which server you choose, some PvP battles can get quite heart-pounding 
especially when you have two people fighting it out using larger dinosaurs. Now, with all that said, the game does have quite a few issues that can make the game less than enjoyable to play at times. Alright, so, while Ark does have many good elements to it, unfortunately, there are some parts of the game that have quite a few issues that can make the game undesirable to play really quickly at times, and can largely hinder your experience throughout the game, depending on the degree at which you face these issues. For starters, the game currently lacks an intro that tells you where you are, who you are, and what to do. Now, while the game does have straightforward mechanics that can be picked up rather easily, for brand new players that have not played a game similar to this one before, it may be rather confusing on how to get started at first. Another issue that can in fact be largely hindering to your gameplay, depending on the degree to which you experience it, is that on PvE servers, your progress can be hindered quite severely by other players. For instance, if you are building in a certain area, say, near a waterfall, and another player finds that location, they can surround the general area of your base with thatch foundations, rendering you unable to expand further. However, this can be reversed, as the game allows you to destroy objects built by other players if they are left unattended for a long period of time, but it still can take a long time for this system to take effect, several days in fact, and this situation can greatly hinder your ability to expand your base further. Along with this, players can also trap your characters within structures if they are able to get a hold of your character's body while you're offline. Your character doesn't despawn when you log off, by the way. And if they trap your character's body, the only way to get out is to let your character starve or damage yourself in some way until your character dies. And on that note, since your body doesn't despawn when you log off, you can get killed when you're offline, so you do have to be mindful of where you log out. Also, along with your body not disappearing, your dinosaurs also will require food, even when you are offline, and if they are left unfed for too long, they can starve to death in your base. There are also some blatant issues on the technical side of things with Ark, such as the fact that the game does flat out crash from time to time, and while this can be quite uncommon depending on what you're doing in the game, the game has crashed for me during some critical events, such as fighting a Spinosaur in the middle of a lake. While playing the game, it is also possible that you will be flat out dropped from the server at random, and this can also get you killed if you're doing something important, and this can happen quite regularly at times depending on the server. There are also some issues with the dinosaurs themselves, such as their AI being flat out stupid at times, with dinosaurs being unable to walk around large objects, such as boulders, or get through doorways on their own. There are also some issues with the dinosaurs rubber banding across the area during combat, and their hitboxes can be completely disoriented and way off, allowing them to be easily killed just by standing still and waving your spear in the air. And, along with this, sometimes when you kill a dinosaur, it will just completely shoot off in a random direction, or, my favorite, rocket up in the sky like a balloon and get stuck up there, making it extremely hard, if not impossible, to skin it and retrieve the items on its corpse. This issue can also occur sometimes with your body when you die, making it even more challenging to retrieve your items. Ark can also suffer from gigantic server-wide lag spikes at times, where an entire server will experience one gigantic lag spike, hindering everyone from gathering resources, attacking dinosaurs, or doing any other general activity within the game. Another issue that I have noticed a few times is that the world isn't exactly stable and well put together. What I mean by this is that it is entirely possible to fall through the world, and sometimes your character will even fall through the world when you are offline, resulting in you needing to die in order to get back into an area where you can play the game. I would also be remiss if I did not mention that the game does not currently have any way for new players to really get an idea of where they are, so it can be quite easy to get lost early on. All in all, these were the major issues that I noticed that hindered my enjoyment of the game from time to time. 
so what does all of this bring us? Well, if you are able to put up with the issues that I touched on, and are willing to bear in mind that the game is still in early access, I would rate it, all in all, as a pretty decent game, around a 7 out of 10 in its current state. I have personally spent several hours playing it, and have enjoyed it more than I have hated it, but I have run into several instances where the game has been practically unplayable due to server lag and server dropping issues. This game style, however, can be very frustrating on its own, so if you are looking for a game that is relatively risk free, where it's not easy for you to possibly get sent all the way back to the stone age just by dying, I would recommend that you avoid this game or look for a private server with settings that make it easier to play risk free. If you enjoyed this review, please rate it thumbs up and subscribe for more. Bear in mind, this is one of my first videos, so hopefully they will improve as I get into the swing of things, and remember, you can always vote with your wallet when it comes to what video games you buy. See you later.